So the order of the software that we install shouldn't really matter too much. Um, I'm going to start with Slate, actually, because I feel like this is one of the more interesting ones, um, especially because, you've, as you've seen, um, I run an ultra-wide monitor, and I don't run multiple monitors. I know a lot of people prefer that. I don't. I prefer one big monitor, and this software is going to sort of explain why I can get away with that or, you know, why that works for me. So if we want to, basically, I want to install Slate. So I'm going to go ahead and get this download for this. Slate is open source software. It's window management. Um, I know it says it's a replacement for Divi, size up and shift it. I, I'm trying to look for my thing. Um, I will still end up using size up a tiny bit. And unless Slate's changed, um, the last few times I checked, I use size up specifically just for ability to move windows to new spaces, which we're going to see here in a bit. Um, and this is a paid, size up is paid, Slate is free. So if you can get away with just Slate, you probably should. Um, size up, I found it useful for just that one feature, and I bought a license a while back, so I still use it. All right, so I'm going to put Slate in here, then I'm going to open it up. This is annoying. Because it's from an unidentified developer, you have to right-click and go to open instead of just opening it normally. And then if you click open, after this, you should be able to run it from this point on. It's from an unidentified developer, I think, because they didn't do the process of getting, you know, identified as a developer. I think that costs money. And it's open source software, so that's probably why they just didn't really have the money for it. So I need a slate config. Uh, I'm going to get that in a second. So I'm just going to click through all that. Eventually, it's going to ask you about um, accessibility stuff. So it's going to bring you to this window. Essentially, you have to click this lock here, type in your password. And what it's doing is you have to actually give it permission to alter stuff on your screen for the accessibility. And this is for newer versions of Mac OS. I think I'm running High Sierra. But depending on what OS version you're running, um, you know, this could change. And there's probably some, I think there's something newer than High Sierra, but High Sierra is the easiest one to get working currently for a Hackintosh, which is, again, why I'm using that. Okay. So there is Slate, should be set up. Now I'm going to, so I've downloaded it. No, wrong one. Enable the accessibility stuff. So I need to go get the Slate file. I have mine here. And this is mostly not going to make sense. You probably want to go ahead and make your own Slate file, but that's okay. I am going to nano. I'm just going to paste everything in here. Save it. And I'm going to quit that terminal. Eventually, I'm going to get my own editor and stuff set up. I should get VS Code eventually, but I don't have it. So I'm going to relaunch and load config. And I'll let this check for updates. That's fine. Eject that. Okay. So this is where Slate comes into play. Uh, whenever you have a big window or big, you know, anything, there's different things that you can set up keyboard shortcuts wise. So I can start moving my windows around. So these are half full size screens. Um, I can do, uh, this is a 1920 by 1080 window lodged on the top left. That's my bottom cut key binding, this V one. Um, you'll see that I also have a second one. That's the wrong one. Apparently, this is an old slate config. I'll have to get my new one from my new com or from my computer. Um, so basically, you can get different setups like this where you can move things around to different spots, and you can sort of see where you want them to be. And this allows you to size your windows wherever you want them. It also has a grid that you can set up to be a different number of columns where you can just sort of expand it to whatever you want. So you can see here that I can just move my windows around. And this is how I mostly get away with not having multiple windows, is that I can just quickly resize my windows. So let's say I have three different windows, I can quickly go into columns, or you know, one really big one if you want, um, and just sort of get around. Now I know I'm using the mouse some a little bit there, you can set up keyboard shortcuts for all this. Uh, you know, for instance, you can just, well that's not what I wanted. Um, sorry. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get rid of this. Um, but yeah, so there's different ones you can do. So you can just go to stuff like this, like this, um, you know, whatever you think is the most useful. So one of the common ones I've used is I'll put my editor over here so it's two thirds of my screen and I'll put my browser over here. So it ends up looking something like this. But this is really all I'm using, um, you know, Slate for is stuff like this. So let me make sure I've set everything up correctly. 
uh, aside from the config, which don't you don't need to worry about the config. Basically, I'm going to update this eventually. The way I normally have it is whenever I'm recording, I will set up my window so that I'm always recording this 1920 by 1080 window whenever I'm making a screencast. That's like the part of my screen I get record. And then I have another slate thing that will set up another window over here. And this is where I'll keep my notes while I'm recording. So if I really have some notes that I need, um, not all screencasts have them, but the ones that I have them that I want to look over notes, I'll put them over there. So what else is there? We did this and I relaunched. Okay, so Slate is all done. Um, I think I'm going to work on... Hmm. Probably going to get VS Code installed next because I think it's nice to have um, an editor to be able to edit stuff. And then we'll start working through some of these other things.